Uh, uh, uh. Here we go. Uh, look at this. I found this carefully kept in the storehouse. They're all scraps of old wood. This bamboo has been fumed all black. I guess I should throw these away, huh? Hey, wait a minute. Well, the bamboo speaks. Don't you know what we vintage materials are worth? Throw us away and you'll live in regret. Vintage materials? What are you talking about? Mr. Kusakari, I'll teach you all about the appeal of vintage materials. Miss Hama? Hakone, Kanagawa Prefecture. This house of actress Mie Hama quietly stands, nestled in the forest near Lake Ashinoko. Welcome to our house. Come on in. This is the large hall. All the beams taken from a single house are used in this room. It was around 40 years ago that Hama built this house using building materials taken from 12 vintage houses. As the vintage materials Hama had to work with were beauties, polished through decades of daily life, she was determined to not let anything go to waste. She found creative ways to use them throughout the house. Even a beam originally designed to be hidden above the ceiling is used in this house as a rack to place ornaments on. There's something very adorable about this curve, for example. So I thought, why not show it off? The kids used to climb up from here to the beam and jump down. Maybe that's why it has good shine. This room is adorned with Western antique furniture, such as those from the Victorian era. The room brims with the warmth of wood weathered by time. I feel enveloped by warmth every day. I feel comfortable here, and my life here is one that allows me to take deep breaths. I can really feel how each beam had been loved over generations. And knowing that gives me a warm feeling inside. The vintage materials we are talking about today are reusable materials collected from dismantled old wooden structures. The materials from over a century ago are mostly high-quality natural wood, which are hard to come by today. Items that tell of life in olden days, such as bamboos long fumed by traditional irori floor hearths are prized. See how vintage doors are transformed and discover the allure of valuable wood taken from important cultural properties and how to savor their appeal. At first glance, it seems this Tokyo shop deals in modern furniture, but... They are actually all made from reused vintage wood. For example, this stylish table 
is made from what was formerly a Ramma transom. The geometric pattern of the Kumiko lattice woodwork leaves quite an impression. At this shop, customers can place orders for custom-made furniture but use vintage items of their choice. If you want a transom, there's this style where a design is carved out. This is a lattice-type transom. Something like this can't really be made now, so people are using these to decorate the house. Yeah, I want a rather low table. This is interesting. This was the sliding door of a public bathhouse. This was for the ladies' bath. And this was for the men. Wow. You could make a table from this. Reminds me of the good old days. It is because vintage items are so rich with expression that they can attain new life as unique furniture. What was this sofa made from? A nagamochi chest used to store clothing and other items. The lid of the chest was used to make its armrest. Exceptional ingenuity finds new ways for vintage materials to be used. Furniture is something that we actually touch and use daily whereas vintage materials are items that are not used anymore, things that just take up space. But if you modify them into something that can be of use, you can then have it in your house again. This, for example, used to be a kotatsu heater, so charcoal used to be put in here. A lot of items like these feature craftsmanship that is just not around today. Vintage materials each have a past of having been used in a variety of ways. Dents, scratches and grime on an item are all part of its history of having been used by people. It comes down to warmth. Vintage items have a warmth that new items just don't have. Over time, an item will get dented or dirty, but such features actually add to its allure. That brings us to today's first mark of beauty. Enjoy the history in vintage material. This is a house in a quiet Tokyo neighborhood. From the outside, it has a modern look. This way. The beams inside this home, taken from a vintage house, make quite an impression. This new house was built using the vintage materials salvaged from a house of the early 1900s. <laughs> the house was built by Ko Kishimoto. He studied carpentry as an apprentice shrine carpenter. Kishimoto specializes in using vintage material. The interesting thing about using vintage material is that when you look at the work of craftsmen of the past, I can imagine what kind of tools they used or how they went about their crafting.
Scratches can be faintly seen on the side of this beam. This was processed in an age when electric tools were non-existent. The scratches indicate that a large saw was used to process this beam. It can be seen that an adze was used to finish the bottom part of the beam. The cuts made at regular intervals brim with a rustic expression. A good look at some vintage materials serves to highlight the detailed work of craftsmen. These mortises are used to connect pieces of wood without using nails. These chisel grooves were made to fit crossbars and head jams. Even after 90 years, the exceptional work of craftsmen shines with excellence. This must be the same for all crafters. But I think they were very conscious of making something they would not be ashamed of when later seen by other carpenters. The older materials feature meticulous work on parts that are usually hidden from view. The materials here were all crafted by hand, and handcrafted items have the power to make people happy. So, we have such items spread throughout the house. We feel history in them. I really love that. History in vintage material. The years a material has weathered bestow upon it an allure unlike any other. So the dents and grime on a vintage material make it beautiful. A close look reveals that this soot bamboo has a black sheen that is beautiful indeed. Mm. So finally you see my true worth. But don't just praise me. Won't you please make good use of me? What? But how? I mean, I can't build a house now, can I? What should I do? This is trouble. This timber shop in Shiga Prefecture has been in business for over 110 years. Rare vintage timber are gathered from across the nation and kept here. However, timber from dismantled houses are very dirty and often scarred and damaged by heavy machinery. The professionals here repair such damaged parts and breathes life back onto the wood surface. Firstly, the thick layer of grime which completely veils the wood grain is scrubbed off. After careful scrubbing, the wood surface rises into view. Large scars are repaired using the same tools as those used in olden days. A damaged area is carefully repaired in such a way so that it blends in with the ads marks around it. Natural coating material, such as flaxseed,